You can download all parts of the Scanned 3D Scanner from the scanned.explicator.com website. They're all available as 3D printable files there. You can also go to the myscan.explicator.com site and download a very specific phone holder for your personal phone and get that file as an STL file that you can either view on your local STL viewer, as shown here, or you can feed it to your favorite slicer to 3D print it with your 3D printer. We're going ahead and do this here in a little time lapse. And then we take that off the plate and go ahead and also 3D print two scanned bodies we're going to be using later for modding. Take that off too. And then we're ready to take the scan Maker Edition package and put it all together. So we have our 3D printed parts on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have the scan Maker Edition package. So we attach the turntable bracket to the body and here's the laser holder we're going to be using a little later. Then we take the turntable out of the package, open it up, and take the turntable out. And there's the turntable, the little USB power connector cable, and uh, a calibration card that is optional for fine tuning your scans a little later. So we can either power the turntable through the USB cable that comes with the package, or we could put in a little rechargeable battery, which I'm going to be using to make my scans completely wireless. Now we're taking the block coat tape out of the package and we attach it to the turntable sleeve. Make sure that the black bar, the solid black bar at the block tape is pointed to the lower direction. The upper direction of the sleeve ring has a little edge. So it's easy for you to kind of position the block code precisely where it needs to be. That's one thing you need to be precise and you attach it from the left to the right. The tape is sticky but not overly sticky so you can readjust in case that you kind of are off the track for a portion of the attachment process. So as you can see here, I'm kind of readjusting it a little bit. And again, I'm aligning it strictly with a little rim, the little upper edge that I have here, which you can feel with your fingers. And once you've done your complete 360 in here, you see that the ends of the tapes are overlapping. So put it left over right and make sure that you're precisely aligning the both ends of the tape so that the algorithms don't get confused when positioning your scan videos. And start it by pressing the middle button three times. The first time you press it, it's going to be rotating real fast. The second time you shortly press it, it's going to rotate a little slower. And the third time, it's going to be at the optimal scan speed. Put that turntable into the turntable bracket. Next thing to do is to get the laser attached. So um, we grab the little brown bag here and take the laser out and there's also some plugs and some plug connectors in there. We're going to be using a little screwdriver, that's really the only tool you need for the whole process, to attach the plug to the laser cable. That's what we're doing here right now. Make sure it's nice and tight and pull a little bit to see whether it's coming off and it's well connected. 
and we do the same thing for the black plug attaching it to the black cable so once we're done with that again what we're going to be doing is we check whether it's nice and tight and it's not coming off and that's it for the laser then we take the laser holder and we take the laser and put the wiring through the upper opening where we're going to stick the laser into in just a little while so when we've done that again the cables are coming out of the bottom and the laser itself uh, fits nice and tight into the upper opening of the laser hole we put this to the right side of the scan body then we're taking out the battery case um, again there's a little screw in there we open that up and we fill the battery case with three double a batteries we have here so let me open this up and put these two in first and once we've done with one and two we put in the third into the middle make sure you're putting them in using the right orientation of the batteries otherwise your laser won't shine so we're putting it in and we're closing the battery case again and if you want to you can also put back the screw in here to make sure it's not opening when you don't want it to open so just give it a one two three twists and then we have the plug connectors and the plug connectors we, we're putting them in the same way that the plugs were put in and uh, we're closing it with the same screwdriver again make sure it's tight not overly tight but it fits nice and tight so it's not coming off by the time you're connecting the battery to the laser so last one here so the black plug connector and we close that and then it's time for us to kind of connect the battery with the laser and check whether the laser is actually working so we turn the laser battery case on and as you can see I turn the laser and you can see my hand shows the laser operating we're not fine adjusting it now we're just making sure it's somewhere to have a focus in the middle of the turntable then we put the battery in so that it sits nice and snugly and then we attach the phone holder to it since this is the maker edition we're going to be using a custom printed phone holder for my iPhone and uh, we put the stick into the phone holder and the reason why there's multiple holes is that phones have their cameras at different locations to so make sure that it aligns the camera with the center of the scanned so now we're putting the phone into the phone holder turn on the laser and then we can place something on the turntable again make sure it's rotating at its slowest speed it has three speeds and you need to press the middle button two times shortly for the turntable to slow down so here you can see it's all said and done within eight minutes we have an operating 3d scanner while the scanned 3d scanner works out of the box with no further action on operation you can improve the scan results by something called calibration for that you need to do two things first of all you take the calibration card and put it to the calibration card holder and 
then you put that calibration card holder while the turntable is spinning at a slow speed to the edge of the turntable and let it complete two full rotations while recording a scan video from your phone. Once done with that, you can take the scan video and upload it to your user account at myscan.explicator.com and start the calibration process to optimize your scans even further. Aligning your lasers on a 3D scanner is probably the most important thing you can do to improve scan quality. As you can see, when I turn the optics of the laser, it changes focus. So you want the focus to be in the middle of the turntable and to be completely vertically aligned. The best thing to do is to use the calibration card for that and make sure you have a crisp red line right in the middle that goes straight up vertically. We all love things to be special and unique and for that reason we have designed the scan 3d scanner in a way that you can easily mod and change the body shape just go to scannedexplicator.com and download your favorite modded scanned body you can then simply 3d print it on your local 3d printer and then you can take it and exchange the original a scanned body with a new modded one. Just remove the laser holder and the battery, remove the phone stick, then remove the turntable bracket, replace the original a scanned body with the new and modded ones, put back the laser and the battery onto the new scanned body and then take the turntable and place it back into the turntable bracket then press the middle button to make the turntable spin turn on the laser put something on your modded scan 3d scanner and there you go